Now that we've set up our email using Bluehost, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use an email client to go ahead and draw in all of our email and send our email without having to log into Bluehost and uh, the web email uh, component. So here's all of my email client uh, configuration e uh, information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy uh, the username, which is pretty straightforward. That's the, uh, the uh, email address that you've set up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Zimbra. Uh, this is a really, really great product uh, that I advocate for, and it lets you manage multiple emails uh, from one client. So it's really easy. I'm just going to click Setup. And in the next window, it's going to allow me to set up a new account. So I'm going to go to Add New Account. You can go ahead and give your... Uh, account type and what we want to do is select IMAP from this drop down and then we'll go ahead and put in all of our information so account name I'm just gonna name this word I'm just gonna WP how to tips and I'll go ahead and put in my information JP hunt and email address I'll just copy and copy and paste that from the Bluehost screen username that's gonna be your email address once again password whatever you used as a password in uh, your setup Incoming mail server. This is generally going to be mail.yoururl.com. So in this case, it's mail.wordpresshowtotips.com. I'm just going to copy that, go back into Zimbra, and we'll go ahead and paste that in. And uh, what we want to do is continue to go down through this process. Your SMTP mail server will be the same as above, so go ahead and just continue to paste that in. What you're going to want to do is change the port on uh, the SM. TP mail server. I'm going to go ahead and click edit and change this to 26. Go ahead and make that uh, entry. You'll generally uh, want to leave authentication as well. Um, so go ahead and put in your username one again, once again, which is, of course, your email address. Type in your password. And uh, for reply to, um, go ahead and put your name. Uh, so when somebody replies, they'll see your name and, of course, your reply to email address. Uh, and that's obviously optional. I'm just going to leave that deselected for now. So what we can do is go ahead and click uh, Validate and Save. Now you can also schedule how often uh, Zimbra is going to go and retrieve email. So you can set this to every 30 minutes or every hour, whatever is relative to you. Click Validate and Save. And once you've done that, oh, looks like we have a mismatch here. So let's go and verify this once again. Make sure we have all of our settings configured properly. And, you know, let's go ahead and put our name in here. See if that makes a impact and you can see it's now it says processing and it will prompt you with a message when you've uh, successfully connected so you can see now it says account added WP how to tips um, so now we have our email address here and uh, it'll take a few minutes to sync our account with Zimbra